Let's look at the auto triage module, which was designed to be used from an OS Forensics USB on a live target system. First introduced in version 5.2 of OS Forensics, the auto triage feature provides users with a fully automated, simple solution for digital evidence triage. The auto triage enables all levels of users to perform triage with incredible speed and ease of use. Though useful for all levels of users, the auto triage was designed for first responders and other entry level users of OS Forensics who may lack traditional forensic training and or experience in digital evidence collection and processing. This means that non-forensic personnel can now acquire much of the same evidence traditionally recovered from a full forensic examination in a matter of minutes and with a single click of the mouse. In addition to recovering files and artifacts of interest, the auto triage will also automatically generate an initial case report in both HTML and or PDF formats. These reports and all other associated case files are automatically saved to the case directory on the OSF USB by default. Users can acquire a list of all running processes, create a memory image, collect all web and user activity, passwords, user accounts, deleted files, system information, detect the presence of BitLocker encryption, and more. The auto triage will also capture a screenshot of the target system and create searchable spreadsheet of all files in the file system, including their paths and date and timestamps. The auto triage feature can literally be launched with a single click of the mouse and collection times may vary, but typically take just a few minutes to complete if the memory dump option is not selected. To launch the auto triage module, simply click on it from the OS Forensics workflow or the icon on the start screen. Once the auto triage window appears, review the options and make any changes or customizations before selecting start scan. Options include acquiring a list of all processes running, creating a memory dump, running the user activity, passwords, deleted files, and system information scans, plus create a CSV file list, collect clipboard contents, and even screen capture what's currently visible in the target systems monitor. The auto triage module will then generate auto reports from all of the collected information. You can choose between PDF or HTML reports or both. You will also notice a save files to logical image option with a link to further configuration options. Let's take a look at this powerful feature. Once you click on the config options, you will be presented with a wide array of file types which you can specify to be added to a custom logical image file. This is an absolutely incredible way for anyone, including non-forensics personnel, to acquire a lot of evidence files with a few simple clicks of the mouse. You can also specify a particular file path. For example, you could point it to a particular user account to logically acquire in a situation where maybe you only have legal authority to search or seize a particular user account. Once you're finished making those selections, simply click the OK button. In this example, I chose to acquire all video and email files from the system. Once I clicked OK, OS Forensics performed a quick audit of the system to estimate the total size of the output of my selection. We see here that I would end up with 12.27 gigabytes of a logical image file in VHD format. I was also given a file count as well. This information is to let the user know whether they have enough storage space and time available to acquire the data. In step three, you will begin the auto triage scan by clicking the start scan button. You will know when a scan is completed from the status column. Each operation will either say in progress or finished. To review results from finished scans, simply click on the blue hyperlinks in the task column. Once the scan is complete, you will be presented with a secondary scan or options to choose from to perform additional analysis on the target system. 
Should you need to go back and perform a new scan on the system, you can simply click on the new scan button. Just like with the logical image, OS Forensics will tell you how much RAM is installed on the system before you initiate the scan. Creating a full memory dump can be a time consuming process depending on a few factors, such as the amount of RAM in addition to the type of USB device and port being utilized. Those are the major contributing factors in determining how long this operation might take. So if you decide to collect a memory dump, please make sure you have sufficient space on your USB device as the dump file will be the same size as the total memory displayed. For example, a computer with 16 gigabytes of RAM would generate roughly a 16 gigabyte memory dump file. And it's highly advised to utilize a fast USB port such as 3.0 or 3.1 when collecting a memory dump for optimal speeds. In the example here, you can see that after the user clicked on the user activity scan in the auto triage window, the results are displayed in the main OS Forensics interface for review. So users can now review all results from the initial scan by clicking on the blue hyperlinks in the AT window. And during review, users can add files of interest to the case through check marking and right click options. Then generate a new report by clicking the generate new HTML slash PDF report option from the list of additional actions. 